Hello everyone, welcome to yet another session of the daily news analysis by Sri Ram's IS where we take up the important articles featuring in the Hindu newspaper and break them down for our understanding from the UPSC examination point of view. So let us start our today's discussion by taking the important articles from the, the Hindu newspaper. So we have the first important article over here. The article which appears in the newspaper, let us take it up for discussion and which features in the newspaper reads, India and Bangladesh establish contact as more Kukichin refugees are expected to enter Mizoram. Now this particular article appears in the newspaper in the backdrop of certain people coming from Bangladesh to Mizoram and these people are known as the Kuki Chin community people and therefore they are being called as the Kuki Chin refugees who have been traveling from Bangladesh into the state of Mizoram of India. So why is this happening? Why is the Kuki Chin community people feeling the need to shift from Bangladesh to Mizoram and what is happening in Mizoram? What is the status of these people in Mizoram? We will take a look at all of that through this article. So let us first understand. These, these are the pictures where the Kukichin refugees are currently situated in Mizoram. Temporary tents and shelters have been uh, set up for them by the Mizoram government. So let us understand about this issue about by first understanding what is this Kukichin community. So the Kukichin community people are actually belonging to uh, this particular region and they are from Bangladesh as well as from the other region. It is a Christian community which shares ethnic ties with the people in Mizoram. So they are a community which uh, earlier in earlier times were situated in all of these areas. These borders between countries have been established much later but these people have been living in the regions from much earlier. That is why they are a community which share ethnic ties between the Bangladesh and the Mizoram as well. So what is happening right now? These Kukichin community in the Bangladesh have something known as the Kukichin National Army which means that they are fight, fighting for their separation and their independence. So this Kukichin National Army is the armed wing of the Kukichin National Front, a separatist group that was established in 2008 to create a separate state in Chittagong Hill Tracts. This belongs to southern Bangladesh region. So this was the army. So obviously in response to the actions done by Kukichin National Army, Bangladesh Army also took certain steps and it flagged this particular organization and a lot of action started to be taken against this. So the Rapid Action Battalion was launched and uh, has launched an operation in October 2022 against the Kukichin National Army after it entered into an agreement. So it was said that these particular, uh, this national army entered an, in, into an agreement with a fundamentalist militant outfit called the Jamatul Ansar Fil Hindal Sharkia. This was the fundamentalist outfit which the Bangladesh army says that this particular outfit is giving them intel, is giving them shelter, is giving them the financial resources to sustain their motives. That is why the Bangladesh army has started a crackdown on the armed wing of this uh, Kukichin National Front. So due to this, the normal civilians residing in this, in this region are finding the place obviously hostile to live and that is why many number of Kukichin uh, community people are traveling from Bangladesh and coming to Mizoram. So because this, if we look at the map between Bangladesh and the northeast region, this region is known as the Kuki homeland and there are many tribes, sub-tribes which come under the Kukichin community and this was their, according to them, this is their perceived homeland and that is why they want to uh, uh, take uh, want a separate land carved out of Bangladesh as well. So that is why they are also traveling into Mizoram because essentially people, uh, the Kukichin community people have been living in both these areas. So that is why these people are coming. Now let us come to the fact where what is the refugee situation in Mizoram? What is happening in Mizoram? Mizoram already has a lot of uh, people coming in from Bangladesh because Mizoram shares a 318 kilometer long border with Bangladesh and currently hosts some 30,000 refugees from Myanmar as well. So as we saw in this particular image, even Myanmar is uh, adjacent to Mizoram. Therefore, a lot of refugees from Myanmar also have flown into Mizoram and now refugees from Bangladesh are coming in. So 
what is going on with this particular Kukichin conflict? The ongoing military operation in the Chittagong hill tracks has triggered the inflow of these refugees into Mizoram. And how many refugees have come? So, the first batch of 273 uh, uh, Kukichin uh, refugees came in on November 22, uh, uh, November 20, and after that, uh, 20 more came, and currently the number is stated as 293 Kukichin refugees have currently come in from Chittagong to Mizoram. And it is said that more Ch uh, Kukichin refugees will come in the future. So, what has the state done? Mizoram state cabinet had recently approved the setting up of temporary shelters and other basic amenities the Bangladesh Kukichin refugees need. So, what is here uh, important to be understand is that some 35 lakh people of Kukichin Mizo communities already live in the Chittagong Bangladesh area. So, out of these 35 lakh people, people are flowing into Mizoram and more refugees are expected to reach and they will be recognized as officially displaced persons in the state government records since there are no laws related to refugees in India. Now this is the point where we understand the legal background with respect to refugees. So who exactly are refugees? What do we uh, say when a person is a refugee? So a refugee is a person or a group of individuals who actually face persecution on some basis of their gender, of their ethnic ethnicity, of their community, on any basis when they face persecution from their homeland and they have to, they have to flee from that homeland, that is when these people or group of people are known as refugees. So these are the, and that is where uh, Kukichin people come in. But in India, the case is that India is not party to the international refugee law. So let's understand situations with India. India does not have a national policy or a law to deal with refugees. What this means is that in the technical definition of refugee and the laws that are there for refugees, India is not a signatory to that international law, which is the 1951 UN Convention and the 1961 Protocol on this as well. So it is to be remembered that India is not a party to it. Does this mean that India does not house people who are persecuted and fleeing their home state. It is in fact not like that. Rather, India is a significant state which often houses people who are persecuted in their homeland and a lot of people come seek refuge in India. So India does house them. Let's say the Tibetan refugees or uh, refugees coming in from Myanmar, the India does house them, but it is not a party to the international law and it deals with them on the basis of its national laws. Because if India becomes a party to this international law, these laws secure the rights of refugees to seek asylum and protect them from being sent back to the life-threatening places. This is known as the principle of non-refoulement. This is to be remembered from the convention point of view. The UN convention carries a principle known as principle of non-refoulement, which says that these refugees, if they come to seek asylum or protection in a state, that particular state cannot send these refugees back to their place of persecution until situation is normal. It cannot refoul them back to the state. This is known as the principle of refoulement. This principle is there in the convention and therefore India has not signed this convention up until now. But India grants these people protection based on its national laws. So furthermore, India does not acknowledge the administrative role of the UNHCR within its territory and chooses to handle refugee crisis unilaterally. So those entering India without a visa are treated as illegal immigrants, but these particular uh, Kukichin refugees who have come in are neither being treated as refugees or are being treated as illegal immigrants. They are treated as, uh, they are being treated as officially displaced person. That is the stand of home ministry where these foreign nationals who enter the country without valid travel documents are normally called as illegal immigrants. But at present, the members of Kuki Chin Mizo community are being referred to as the officially displaced persons in the government records as India does not have a law on refugees and they have been allowed to enter India on humanitarian grounds. This is where the article steps in and says that the Indian government and Bangladesh government are in contact with each other and they are talking about this issue and how soon the, uh, as soon as possible, the repatriation of these Kukichin refugees can be made possible into their homeland of Bangladesh. So this is the issue regarding the Kukichin conflict, how Bangladesh is involved, how Mizoram is involved and what every state is doing. So this was a discussion on this article. We only have one article for discussion today. 
So we finished the discussion over here and we'll meet again tomorrow with the important articles from the newspaper. Thank you.